Welcome back to BB Houston this morning. Later today, a huge game. The Houston Texans trying to accomplish what no Texans team has done before, and that is earn a trip to the AFC Finals. It has been a roller coaster ride of a season, but the journey has been fun, as we all know, as the team embraces an expanding fan base, including one of the fastest growing segments of the population, Hispanics. Eyewitness News reporter Eric Barajas shows us how. Inside the Texans training bubble, a unique experience for a select group of fans by the name of Toros Bravos. And I got my Texan football autograph. A chance to walk in the player's shoes. I'll see you. <laughs> <laughs> this fan appreciation day is for a fan base the Texans organization is looking to grow Hispanics so the Texans organization created the Toros Bravos in April of 2011 here in Houston we have a, a, a very heavy Hispanic population it's about 42 percent so we wanted to tailor to that and, and we have since since day one with, with Mr. McNair having uh, a, a limited partner being Hispanic and just like the Hispanic demographic is exploding here in the Houston area, the members of the Toros Bravos are learning how to explode off the defensive line. Yeah, there you oh, go. Oh, don't stop. Come on, quick. This has to be a great stress reliever. Beep, 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 beep. And every Toros Bravos gets to take their shot at what it's like to train like a Texan. It's always fun, you know, give them your time, man, come out here. We're not really doing nothing on Tuesdays, man, so just trying to have fun. Texans players know their fan base is one of the most loyal and supportive in the NFL. Everybody's bringing in their helmets, you know, different like jerseys, different things like that. So, you know, it's exciting for us to be able to do this for the fans, you know, because we remember being in this position at one time, too. So it's always good to be able to do this uh, for the fans. What was the best the fan club meets up with players several times a season from the mock drill sessions to question and answer sessions from the likes of Kareem Jackson. The night ends with a hot meal and dreams of going all the way. Super Bowl? I'm hoping. Fingers crossed. I think everyone has their fingers crossed. That, by the way, was Eric Brajas reporting. Todos Bravos is just one of several free fan clubs run by the Texans. And you can join any of them by going through the Texans website as well. Now, joining us now to discuss Toros Bravos are Texans, Houston Texans marketing manager there on your far right, Daniel Velasco, and Toros Bravos member and huge Texans fan, clearly, you know who that is, Francisco <laughs> Carrera. And uh, thank you, gentlemen, for being with us this morning. Thank you for having us. Great to see you. Uh, let's start with you, Daniel. Regarding this Toros Bravos, have, has it been successful uh, reaching out to the Hispanic community? We're talking about a massive fan base here. No, you're right. It, it, it's been very successful. We have over 3,000 members in just two years. So uh, wow. we've, uh, and, and they're actively involved, actively engaged, as you can see from Francisco here. We have several events throughout the year that are exclusive just for those members. Yeah. So uh, we, we have a, a day at training camp, a draft day. We did this uh, field day that, that Eric was at uh, earlier this year as, uh -huh. as well. And then uh, we do a flag holding ceremony um, for b before our Hispanic Heritage Day game as well. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And Francisco, you look you look marvelous. Thank you. Thank you, dude. <laughs> you are set for today's game, aren't you? Ready. We're ready. All right, you're all set for it. Uh, tell me, have you been have you enjoyed this and has been a, a good outreach program? I think it's been a great outreach program. There's there's yeah. a large um, percentage of uh, fans that are Hispanic. I think it's been able to reach out to them, uh, get them involved. Um, we get emails, updates, uh, sp uh, especially events that we get to attend. Um, that it's great to be a part of, and it's free. You know, great for the kids, great for the family. It really brings the family together. Um, yeah. You know, I think the Hispanic community is is, is known for just being family oriented, um, large families, large groups, and stuff. And this this really tailors to that. And gathering around a television set with some taquitos and guacamole, and you're set, aren't we're you? We're all set. Yeah. We're all set. And, <laughs> and then we're at Reliant. We're loud. We get, yeah. you know, we're, we're, we're part of that, that whole, you know, um, we are Texan community. Yeah, absolutely. And, Daniel, what, what's the future hold for uh, Toros Bravos now? Well, um, we're, we're just looking to expand, you know, yeah. as, as Francisco said, our, our season ticket base uh, of Hispanics is about 16%. Um, and, 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 you know, with the Houston market being about 42%, as the show has been about today as well, yeah. um, you know, we're, we're just looking to grow that fan club, get more folks involved. You know, and, and you, you said something important, Francisco, and that is uh, when it comes to the Hispanic community, I mean, they're really known to get for those massive family gatherings and especially around a football game. Mm -hmm. So 
let, let's just assume that the Texans are going to be taking it today and moving forward. Okay, we'll assume that. <laughs> <laughs> and, and what what does that mean for your uh, for for your gathering for the Hispanic gathering? It's going to be loud at the yeah. house. It'll, it'll definitely be loud, and uh, <laughs> it get, means that we get to get ready for another gathering, uh, the AFC Championship game, yeah. and then one more when we get to the Super Bowl. Absolutely, I know. And Daniel, all right. So, so what are the prospects of um, more Hispanics on the team? <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll, we'll keep our fingers crossed right now. We have Arian, uh, whose who's mother is Hispanic, and yeah. then we also have Sean Cody, who grew up in, in the East L.A. area. Uh, and in the, in the past years, we've had a, a, a linebacker, a receiver, and, and uh, our, our Hispanic community has really grown and, and, and supported those guys. Uh, um, and so we're hoping, you know, every year, as you see from the league initiatives as well, they have their, their annual Hispanic Heritage Day game. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, we're, we, we get more and more players involved. Uh, from a smaller age, as, as Francisco said, a family oriented, getting those kids involved is very important as well. Staying yeah. active, and, and, and that's really what the group is about as well, is, is creating those, those opportunities for kids and families. Absolutely. Yeah. Have them grow with the team, right? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. and Francisco, we, we have to mention, what, what do you have here? I mean, you have, you have everything. I have a little bit of everything. I have some beads, bandoleros, my radio, so I can listen to the game when I'm at the game. <laughs> I got game pins all over this thing. I travel, I've gone to New York, I've been just to. Um, New Orleans, I put, put a little something on it. Every time I go somewhere, they put something on there. Look at all those uh, autographs. things you have on there. Yeah, autographs, autographs and everything. Man, we wish we had more time for you, Francisco. <laughs> you're, you're, you guys are great. Thank you very much. All right, and good luck you. today, all right? Thanks for having us. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, we wish the entire... Go Texans. Texans. Yeah, go Texans. absolutely. All right, thanks so much for joining us today. And uh, go Texans, the game this afternoon. Don't miss it. Of course, everyone's going to be watching throughout Houston. And, of course, you can always catch uh, Viva Houston online at houston.abc13.com. I'm Art Rascone. Have a terrific day. And, of course, what do they say together? Go, go Texans! Texans! <laughs> <laughs>